Hello, welcome back everybody. I am the Bradley Assassin. This is the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel. As promised, we are going to continue our stream of videos uh, unboxing the new computer equipment that will ultimately lead up to the build of our new Pop Network supercomputer, so to say, where I plan to run at least all eight of my current master nodes on the single computer, as well as give ourselves plenty of room in the future to add additional master nodes, which I also plan to do as well. Now, without further ado, this video is obviously going to be uh, covering the um, storage that I chose to use on the upcoming computer build. And in this particular case, initially I'm going with uh, two M.2 generation 4.0 cards. Uh, the first being a Corsair MP600 core one terabyte card as well as a Corsair MP600 core four terabyte card. Now, uh, the reason I chose these two uh, capacities and this stuff, I'm trying to stay with as much Corsair equipment as I can uh, when it comes to the case, the uh, the cooler, the uh, memory, that sort of stuff, even the power supply. Just I've had a lot of good luck with Corsair in the past and basically that's it. I haven't had too many problems with Corsair. Secondly, uh, the one terabyte storage is going to be my main uh, like access storage, you know, where I run my or my uh, my main windows and that sort of stuff, you know, whatnot. And then, of course, the four terabytes of additional M.2 storage will be for the current eight master nodes that I have. Because as you can see here, <laughs> uh, and we've gone over in previous videos, uh, each uh, Pop Network master node requires at least one processing core, which we have completely handled with the... Um, you can check out the previous unboxing video for the um, AMD uh, 5950X with the 16 cores that we'll be uh, using in the computer build. But um, <clears throat> the master nodes also require a minimum of 50, uh, I'm sorry, 500 gigabytes of storage. Thus, you know, eight times 400 is obviously four terabyte, eight times uh, 500, I should say, is obviously four terabytes of storage. So that's gonna be the initial storage and how we're gonna handle that initially. And like I said, a computer of this magnitude with the motherboard we chose will give us plenty of room in the future to add additional storage and additional master nodes, but that's what we're going with now. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and crack open the uh, the one terabyte first. Let's do the one terabyte first. That is this one here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see down here, one terabyte. And uh, on the camera for an up close shot, one terabyte, okay? So let's go ahead and remove the safety cover on the old uh, trusty dusty X-Acto knife and slice open the top right here, okay? And let's see if we can get into this bad boy real quick. Uh, let's see how this works Kind of tricky. There's a little piece of tape right here, and that's why I do these unboxings I want to show everyone how they come and whatnot. You actually kind of have to remove the whole piece of tape uh, of the entirety of the cover so that um, whoa. So that the little tab slides out right here. You see there's a little a little tab that needs to be slid out uh, I guess it's just a way to package it and see if we can get everyone to see that there a little tab and then it slides out not very easily, but it does slide out. Okay, there we go. See, once the little tabs out, I'm sure everyone can see that. Then, of course, the uh, the remainder of the box should just open up. Should is the word. There we go. Open, open. And it's really nice, actually. Uh, it's the first time I actually opened one of these M.2 uh, slot um, storage things and whatnot. It's got a little foam. It's, it's set into foam. If I could get it a close shot. Golly, it's actually really hard to get out. Okay, so there's the box comes with some safety information and looks like some specifications on there. Of course, the uh, M.2 SSD uh, owner's manual. And the actual car, ladies and gentlemen, if you can see up close, it's, the entire uh, casing is, is a, a, a thick foam. We're gonna, we're gonna try and get it up close right here for everyone to see on the close-up cameras. Uh, it's really thick foam that it's set in. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. And as you can see here, this is the actual M.2 card. These things are very, very small. Uh, this one in particular, I chose this. Um, they actually come with heat sinks on them. If you can see, we're going to get another up close shot here. The, the M.2 card itself comes with a built in uh, heat sink uh, by Corsair. And if you, if you take a closer look, they have these tabs on either side, right? Where all you need to do is bend the tab back and the actual um, 
the actual heat sink will come right off uh, for those specific cases where like, for instance, the motherboard rechose the uh, Gigabyte X570RS Elite Wi-Fi. One of the M.2 slots actually has a, uh, a built-in heat sink cover on the on the motherboard for aesthetics you know so to say so that it matches so like you can actually remove this heatsink and use the one that comes on the motherboard if you choose now my second m.2 slot on the motherboard does not have that option so what i'm probably going to end up doing is actually just uh, using both heat sinks that come with the m.2 slots just so that they match on the board and i think it's going to look a little bit better but there you go ladies and gentlemen the uh, corsair mp600 generation 4 one terabyte card and i'm going to go ahead and just put it right back into the old uh foam packaging that it comes with and slide it right back into the box so that i don't lose it and it stays safe just like that and we're going to go right into the uh unboxing the four terabyte card which uh, should be identical in looks and size and everything of course it's just the storage capacity is different but since we're covering every uh, item that will be going into the computer we're gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick so like I did before I'm gonna slice the tape across the top and then fully I'm gonna get an up close shot uh, I'll slice the tape here across the top and then we're actually gonna fully remove the tape here because that's still kind of holding the little tab in place okay and then like I said, you pull the entirety of the tab out. A little tricky, but it comes right out, okay? And then once that tab is out, then of course, the uh, entirety of the box continues to open just as we showed on the one terabyte. And then the foam, you can just go ahead and grab it and pull it out. Same situation, we got the safety information booklet, the M.2 uh, owner's manual booklet, and then uh, exact same in look, size, and everything comes the uh, the actual M.2 card. The only difference is, of course, this one is a four terabyte storage unit. And as you can see here in a close up camera, identical in every way except storage capacity. So that's it for the uh, M.2 storage uh, cards that we are using in the uh, Pop Network supercomputer, so to speak, uh, build that will be upcoming as soon as we get all of these unboxings taken care of and all the reviews done on the equipment. So uh, thanks, everybody. Appreciate the views. Please don't forget to like, please don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on to all so you don't miss any of our video releases as they happen, as well as any of our live streams. And we'll see everybody in the next video. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye.